California to have one life lost is one too many. And unfortunately, we have more storms that will be coming into the West Coast. I will say there is a light at the end of the tunnel as we head into the end of next week. About a week from today, things are going to change a little bit. We'll get a little bit of a, you know, ability to take a breath because it's just been so wet. There are your clouds and showers moving in basically Northern California into Oregon, also into Washington State. Huge system energy here. You see even little pockets of low pressure within that. More moisture just poised off the coast from that. And so it means more rain and more snow. And we have seen just an outrageous and astounding amount of rain and snow for us here, and we're going to be adding to it. I'm talking about a month's worth of rainfall in L.A., uh, San Francisco, Sacramento. Our snow has been 260% of average. It's been wild. That's all in California. Our focus will be a little bit more to the north of that today, but then look at this through Tuesday. We have more weather that comes in for us here. There's your snow. We're going to add in more feet to this. I mean, we're going to get to 300% of average, I feel like, in some of these places with the amount of snow that we're seeing, but abundant moisture, and it is System after system after system. These are called atmospheric river events that come in early next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But I will say as we head into Thursday, Friday of next week, we will see clearer skies into California. But we've got to get through this. We still have a ways to go. I just do want to point out there is some a light at the end of the tunnel with this. Monday, even into Tuesday, we will see weather. Tuesday comes a little bit more into the northwest, and this is really kind of when we're getting to the end of it. So it is a positive there. But we do have that threat for flooding through tomorrow morning. Notice it's more in the northwest coast and northern portions of California. And then tomorrow through Saturday and even through Sunday, it's going to head back down into southern California, where we have seen tremendous amounts of rain falls and of course issues with all that rain coming down. It has been quite a few weeks here, if not really a month overall. Let's go to meteorologist Jim Cantori who joins us from San Francisco this morning. High surf advisory go into effect later today. We could see waves 15 yes. to 20 feet. And Jim, a lot of water activity there. I mean, I was just thinking even going the wharf where you're at, that's where you catch the boat to go over to Alcatraz. And in that cold rain right. and some, you know, choppy weather, I don't know if they've had to cancel boats, and I'm not asking if you know or not, but these are things to think about if you're taking a vacation there.